It's Christmas time. Whether you're celebrating Hanukkah, Christmas, other holidays, you get some gifts. Sometimes these gifts can suck a little bit. We're yeah. going to go through some things you would not want to receive on Christmas morning. We're just going to dive on in. Yeah, let's go. I, I saw this one a lot. You get this from like a funny uncle and you're like, this is great. And then you just leave it somewhere like on a desk for an entire year. Yeah, it's funny. I think it's not anything that you would use. It is humorous for an all of six seconds. And then the moment's gone. Mm. And it's just a waste of paper at that point. Any calendar you get for Christmas really blows. You get a, a funny calendar. You're like, ha, ha, ha. This makes it so much better. It mm. still sucks. You're not using your calendar. You're not pinning that baby on the wall and crossing off the days. Oh. Very millennial joke oh of me. Oh, my God. That's kind of funny, though. It's kind of funny, though. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, like, it serves a purpose. It's one of those things, like, you're cooking. You're like, hey, hand me the spoon. And they're like, which spoon? The Nicolas Cage spoon. Gave me a chuckle when I looked at it, you know. For the first time. That that at least serves a purpose. More useful than the calendar. Still, you open it, you're like, ah, oh, this is funny. And then it's like, it's still not great. You know? Yeah. You don't, no one wants a spoon. Yeah. You don't want a spoon. Do you know? What is this? <laughs> what on so earth? If, if you sweat, if you're sweaty guy or gal out there, you get this uh, nice little strap on deal here and you can be padded up. You so it's like a, a sweat shield tampon. It's a sweat tampon pad. Yes. Yes. It sweat pad. It connects to some people's bra, but you can also maybe just tape it. I mean, imagine being the person that is seriously given this gift. They're like, I noticed you had some sweaty pits the other day. <laughs> I have an issue. <laughs> I wanted to help out and I got you this really thoughtful gift and you're like, God damn. <laughs> It, like, there's nothing good about that. Yeah. If it's, like, a funny gag gift, even if it's, like, you're the sweaty friend, and someone gives you this as a gag gift, that that puts you down a it's little bit. not everyone you want to receive. No, see. that's terrible. <laughs> the usefulness of this is odd in itself, but yeah. that is bad. Just yeah. find a different deodorant. Get prescription Sometimes deodorant. it doesn't work for the folk. And they... Get prescription. Sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> I'm blessed where I don't need this product, but... <laughs> Obviously, it's made for someone. Yeah. So... Mm. You hate to see it. Yeah. So... Obviously. The Nimbus 2000. The classic. Nimbus 2000, right? Not on Harry Potter. This is not a Harry Potter joke. Doesn't say it there, but that broom vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh no! If you're giving this to children, oh, or like a that's odd. a tweener or something, <laughs> yeah. someone like just reaching that age. Yeah, I mean oh, it's, it's no. weird. It's weird for any yeah. anyone to be hopping on that thing and riding around the family room with their oh. family. It's vibrating. <laughs> you're getting I'm a just, little bricked up. <laughs> I'm just picturing like extended families all together, and there's that one kid that gets this. From like grandma or something. And it's just riding around all day. It's like not seen. It's like, where'd little Timmy go? He's riding the Nimbus 2000. He really likes he that, that thing, man. Something inside that thing. He loves it. Oh, oh my man. God. That is hysterical. Yeah. And then we have Poopy. Poopy fun time. Poop, poopy fun time. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Poopy time fun shape. What sorry. the f <laughs> I guess. You're supposed to put it up, and then you poop out the <laughs> shape. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's time to get poopy. It's about to get poopy. I'm just not reading. This has been around since 2009. This is something I'd expect to see in, like, the early 90s or something. Yeah. Something, I don't know, 2000s are a weird time. Yep, so I thought that was funny. And very inappropriate. I, there's no way they shove this up a kid's butt. It's for ages three and plus. That is inappropriate. What else? Maybe you sh into it, or you like play with the sh. There's it's a potty any... training thing, so it's like you sh in the toilet and then you get to play with it. No, I mean maybe. But... That's more logical than putting something up a kid's butt and but telling him to sh through a it. Fucking tube. <laughs> what are you putting the shit in the tube? I mean, you're not wrong with right? that idea. It would be bigger. It is for children three and <laughs> up. <laughs> I mean, that's come on. what it looks like. Yeah, it does look like that. It just looks like it right yeah. up there. So, I, I mean, that's just logical. I don't know. I think it would work better, too. But I, I just don't know what the 
intention. There's a whole team behind this. There's a company like Fisher Price said, yes, let's develop this. And some factory in like Taiwan or China is probably pumping these out. And the workers are probably like, what the f is going on in America right now? Like, yeah. Poopy times fun shape. <laughs> That is poopy time. That is something to be concerned about with our society. Uh, poopy time. And then... Oh, God. <laughs> That's just a Hitler stash is what it really is. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You don't want to get that. Fun. You know who would get this gift? Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> You'd be like, North, this is going to be the new look. The new Yeezy line is going to have f***ing Hitler mustaches on it. It's going to be awful. So. Or Balenciaga, they would take this step. Yeah. <laughs> so like ugly sweaters are a common theme in any list of these. <laughs> but this one really keeps me. <laughs> it's so stretched. Oh, it's the hair. It's, I see it. Okay. It's so stretched and yeah, it's like the, the yeah, side hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also terrifying. <laughs> like this goes right along, like this is sold next to the baby lamb thing <laughs> yeah. from our DIY video. <laughs> it's in similar vibes. Oh, that fuck. is, and like someone made this. <laughs> You're not buying this off Amazon or some Etsy website. Someone's grandma is like, yeah. I'm making them a clown sweater. <laughs> and I just think like, I feel like now with ugly Christmas sweaters being so in, it's like when you reach that age in like middle school or high school where you're like, I'm ready to get an ugly Christmas sweater to rock to my friend's Christmas parties and drink Hawaiian punch at. And you ask for it for Christmas. It's like a coming of age thing. That didn't happen to me, but okay. Okay, well, it it, it feels like that way now, sure. you know? Yeah. And you ask for it, and your grandma's on it. Grandma's like, I'm going to make you the best ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> you open this <laughs> shit. And then next year's gonna grandma's going to be asking, well, why don't you wear that <laughs> clown sweater? I got you. <laughs> She's going to be asking for this. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. No, that's funny, though. This goes along with the calendars. This is a, you can't see it in the screenshot, but it's Zach Galifianakis sexy calendars that are right along with the mullets. Oh, okay. okay. And it's like, nice. it's a funny calendar. You're like, haha, this is hilarious. Mm. Sexy Zach Galifianakis. But mm -hmm. then it's like, are you really going to hang that up? Maybe in a freshman dorm room. Yep. Of like, gamer guys. They might hang that up. They're like, haha, look, it's another it's sexy, sexy month of Zach. <laughs> <laughs> they flip it to February. You know what day it is. What do we got in first. store for this <laughs> month? I and mean, it's just weird. But, yeah, th that's the exact same as the calendar. Great for 30 seconds and then mm. gone. Not funny. Waste of paper. Yep. And, you know, I got to give an honorable mention. People hate on socks as a Christmas gift. As I became in, like, yep. in my college years, I hated buying socks for myself because mm -hmm. it's something you need. But, like, if you want Nike Crew socks or Polo socks or, like, not Walmart socks... They cost a little little bit when you don't have the funds. So getting socks is great. You get them every year. You can count on them. That way you're not rocking socks with your little piggies popping out of the end of them. People hate on socks, but there is a purpose to them. And I think they should be a more welcome gift. Maybe not when you're young and your parents still buy you everything. But when you're a young adult or like late teenager and you don't feel like buying that shit yourself, but you have to. Mm. Socks, stand out gift for me. I hope I get socks this year. Yeah. Socks, underwear, belt, essentials. All things that I need as well. It's a universal thing. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's just us. So what's the worst gift that you've ever gotten? Let us know in the comments. Share this video if you thought it was great. Share it with someone you might think is funny. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.